Now hold up a minute. Now hold up a minute. What does this have to do with that? I'm telling you everything, everything, right? The disciples approached this cult, tied up, never been ridden, never been useful to no one, never had the chance or the opportunity to prove what was inside, the, the capability that was within. Never, never had seemingly seen everyone else being used and doing it, doing big things, right? Growing in it, being successful in it, and yet you tied to the post, never getting your chance, longing for it, but never receiving it. And then all of a sudden, some naysayer comes along and says, what you going to do with that thing? And Jesus says, if anybody asks you that, if anybody dares ask you what you're going to do with that, say the master has need of it and they'll let it be. What am I saying? He ain't just worried about the, the cult's welfare here. This is every hater that could come your way because they know you ain't done nothing really. They know you've never experienced greatness. They know you ain't on that level. And they come back dogging you out, throwing you under the bus. Tell me it don't happen. Every day it happens. You know you want to see, but they remind you you haven't. You ain't done nothing yet. You ain't been out of this town. You don't even talk right for this. It ain't going to be you that does it. You don't look right. You ain't got the education. And they throw something that throws you down. What you going to do? With, what's God going to do with you? But everyone thinks it except your God. Matter of fact, everyone been saying it to you your whole life, and now you're starting to believe it, and you're starting to tell yourself, I ain't seen it yet. The years has gone by. I guess the dream's over. And you let that become the reality when your God's saying, no, mighty warrior. Don't you understand? And Gideon, Gideon's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't the one to save these people. I'm the least in my clan. But just before that, in verse 12 of Judges 6, it says, when the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, who he thought was the least in his clan. I promise you he got told that day in and day out. I promise you he got reminded that you just nothing but the least of us. There's greater warriors in our clan. There's more important people. They're more successful. You ain't ever been you, son. And yet the angel shows up and says, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Gideon's like, who? Me? Ain't nobody ever called me that. And yet the Lord, when he looked at him, saw that. What's he see when he looks at you? You think he sees this current state of your situation or you think he sees the state of your heart? You think he knows a little bit better about what's truly inside of you and should you get the chance? Should he set you free? Should he loose you out? You're going to do great and mighty things because you're a warrior. Ah! And here's the beautiful part about it. He says the Lord will go with you. I will be with you. And that's the truth of us. When we come to Jesus, we ain't on our own no more. I don't care how impotent you think you are. you got the son of a God with you. You've got the king of kings walking on your side, and you know what kind of spirit he's got? A conquering spirit. He goes out to win, baby, and when he gets let loose in our life, he accomplishes what he was set free to do. What reign? Have victory over sin, death, and the devil. He'll turn that life upside down and inside out. He'll change that heart front to back, up to down. He comes to conquer what you think you are in Christ. Matter of fact, I don't even got to ask you. Scripture says you more than a conqueror. Quit thinking you're the least of these. You are not the under. You are the over. You are not the tail, but you are the head. You are not the borrower, but you are the lender. You are a royal priesthood, a chosen generation. You are everything to this king. And when he says what you are, and I don't know what he's named you, but I'm talking, I know what he called me. That is what you are. I don't care what someone else says. Don't you care what someone else says. You only care what your king calls you. He sets your identity. No one else. Not your mommy, not your daddy, not your employer, not your brother, not your sister. Your God does it. Him and him alone. He calls you a mighty warrior and you ain't seen it yet. You walk by faith and not by sight. Because faith comes from hearing and hearing from the word of God. What he speaks over you is truer than true. Period. He calls you a nation summoner. Baby, you stand up and hold that back straight. You a nation summoner, but you ain't done it yet. I don't care what you've done. As soon as he lets you loose, you better watch out. You're going to shake this world. Why? Because you don't go alone. You go in his might, in his word, by his strength, because the king goes with you.